Europe is searching for new value chains and business models to boost sustainable growth in rural areas. In tune with this, the AgroInlog project has spent the last four years raising the competitiveness of agro-industries. Working with a cadre of European experts, AgroInlog has been studying the feasibility of a new idea that enables agro-industries to diversify their business line, an integrated biomass logistics center, or IBLC. Most agro-industries work seasonally, so we look at creating new business lines during these seasonal periods. It consists on using biomass, waste and other resources to produce different biocommodities. We have assessed the potential of energy pellets, bioboards, adsorbents for hydrocarbon spills, thermoplastics reinforced with natural fibers, phenols, bio oils and biochar pellets. And not only we have assessed the economic feasibility of IBLCs, but also we have considered social and environmental impacts. AgroInlog has trialled the idea across three agro-industries, a fodder company in Spain, an olive oil facility in Greece, and a cereals cooperative in Sweden. Apart from our regular activity, which consists of producing animal feed, now we're able to produce energy pellets and other biocommodities using herbaceous materials and wood. So moreover, uh, what we did in AgroInlog project was to validate the combustion, the production of uh, uh, pellets deriving from olive tree prunings that we harvested, and also performed combustion tests at, in, at industrial uh, boilers, uh, where uh, we took a very positive feedback on the use of uh, such fuels. And also, uh, furthermore, we what we saw also was the production of. Uh, by particle boards from olive tree prunings and also the extraction of some biochemicals such as uh, phenols from uh, pomas and the olive leaves and other uh, residues coming from uh, the olive sector. In, uh, in agro in log project or in general the, the use of agricultural residues is getting increasingly important and in this project we are going to look at the the use of straw for ethanol production. What was the transformation process like for these agro-industries? The first step was to optimise the supply chain. Given how important this stage is to the economic feasibility of the IBLC model. So, uh, it's very important to decrease the final cost to make all the right choices do, uh, along the chain. Uh, that means uh, uh, the right uh, harvester, the right uh, transport system from the field to outside the field, the right uh, transport system from the side of the field to the storage place, the right storage and uh, systems and then the right uh, pretreatment and each uh, step will influence, influence each other. So you have to take in consideration all environmental, economic and uh, energy issue in order to find for that particular area, for that particular situation, the best solutions. Aside from the field tests, a geographical information system and simulation model were developed and put into effect. The decision-making process for the supply chain easier. Yes, with these models actually we can see the profitability of the biocommodity business from several viewpoints, so both from the farmers and, the, and also from the, the manufacturing companies that is transforming the raw materials. So very simply, uh, we can tell the farmers whether it is profitable for them and at the same time whether there is a win-win situation with the manufacturing companies. The next step was to start up the new production lines, which used some of the equipment and logistics already present in these agro-industries. Having optimised production, validation tests were carried out both in the laboratory and by the potential end-users. This was vital as it provided useful information, enabling the business model for each IBLC to be honed. Thus, the new products were checked to see if they complied with market standards and if they would be competitive on the current energy market. So, can this IBLC model be applied to other sectors? The project enabled the potential for IBLCs to be replicated in other sectors and countries. Strategies and procedures have been designed to deploy the IBLCs in five sectors. Olive oil, grain, wine, sugar and fodder. 
A constant exchange of views with different actors in the sector, through workshops and interviews, proved key to satisfying their needs and expectations when pursuing strategies for these sectors. Uh, and at the moment we are studying case studies uh, for specific com uh, companies in the various countries of our project. And we will use those case studies to, uh, to describe more uh, general strategies for other companies than the demos that were included in the project to also build IBLCs. And uh, there are several promising uh, options uh, that were also identified in uh, our project that could be uh, implemented. AgroInlog has established a series of recommendations for the agriculture sector, sharing those considered best practices. It also revealed what remains to be done, so that IBLCs can become a functioning reality in the near future. This experience has shown that by fostering new value chains in rural areas, Agro-industries can be key players in the transition towards a Europe-wide sustainable bioeconomy.